we're back to do five columns on our report. We want to see the product ID. We want to see the sale date. We want to see daily sales. And we've got two ordered analytics. We're going to do our CSUM. And then we're back to getting our sequential number. We're going to do a sum of the number one over order by product ID, sale date, rose, unbounded, preceding. And this will give us the same exact query we saw earlier when we had our two ordered analytics. Here we have a group by product ID, but it's not going to work here. We saw this earlier when we wanted to reset our totals using the Teradata syntax. And it reset every OLAP that we had when the product ID went from 1,000 to 2,000. But this is the ANSI version where we're saying some daily sales over. So the group by actually errors. Now this is a critical moment in what you're going to learn because you're going to see how easy it is to reset using a different technique. But this technique will be much more flexible. Stay tuned. Don't change that channel. When using ANSI version of the ordered analytics, such as this CSUM, all you need to do is have a partition by statement. I've got it highlighted for you. Partition by product ID, order by product ID and sale date, and that is going to reset only that ANSI OLAP. And as you can see, when we go down to product ID 2000, the CSUM starts again. Partition by is how you want to have things reset. I've got two CSUMs here. One of them will be called subtotal. The other is going to be called grand total. Now, take a close look at these. They're both doing the same thing, a sum over two C sums in a sense, and both have the same sort key, order by product ID, sale date, but there's one difference between both of these OLAP statements. The first one, entitled subtotals, has the partition by statement, and it's going to partition by product ID, and after the product ID break, it resets and starts the cumulative sum again. The second does not have the partition by statement, so it just keeps the cumulative sum running. When it gets to product ID 2000, it just keeps adding the same way. It never resets. That's the brilliance of ANSI OLAPs, is that you can actually go out and say, hey, my ordered analytics here, online analytical processing is what OLAP stands for. Those words are interchangeable. That really means that I can reset some of them with the partition by statement, but that does not affect the other ones. And that's why you want to use ANSI for sure. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Need a query tool that makes joins easy? The Nexus has a join builder that turns the most complex joins into child's play. The Nexus Query Chameleon, making connections easy again. Visit coughingdw.com for more information. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.